Hey guys, this is Mike and this is the LibGDX Android tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to put your LibGDX games onto your Android phones. Um, before I get started, I just want to say that even if you follow everything I do in this video, you might still have some problems. Um, since I'm not an expert on LibGDX and how it integrates into the Android SDK, uh, I probably won't know uh, the answers to all of your issues and uh, I suggest you go on Google and search up your specific uh, errors or just ask on Stack Exchange or something. Um, so yeah, let's get started. The first thing we're going to need is Eclipse with the ADT plugin and the Android SDK. You can either get those separately or you can grab the ADT bundle, which is what I did. The ADT bundle uh, is pretty much the Android SDK as well as a version of Eclipse that already has the ADT plugin. Um, you can grab it over here if you want. Here's the website and uh, you can grab for whichever OS you're using. I'm using Windows so I grabbed that. It should look like this, ADT-bundle-whatever OS you're using. Uh, so go ahead and download that. It's a pretty big download, so yeah, just grab it. And um, here you're going to see it has a version of Eclipse that has the ADT plugin, the Android SDK, and the SDK manager. Um, so go ahead and open the Eclipse that came with the ADT bundle. You'll notice it has a pretty sweet custom splash screen over here. Uh, so yeah, let's just load that up, and uh, let's just double check to make sure that everything here is properly configured. So in the window menu, um, SDK manager, you should have one of the SDKs uh, check marked. Let's see here, I have over here Android 4.4.2 which is API 19 SDK platform that's installed uh, I guess you might need this one as well I have that installed I think because it says update available there so I probably have that installed I also have the SDK tools SDK platform tools SDK build tools I don't know if these are required but I have those anyway um, so just make sure you have this is the important one SDK platform um, what else? Window Preferences, Android. Uh, make sure you are pointing to the SDK. It should already be pointing to the SDK that uh, you have the, this directory that came with the ADT bundle. So that should be what it's pointing to over here. SDK location, target 4.4.2 or whatever version it's currently at. Uh, so anyway, now that you have the Eclipse uh, plugin set up, uh, we can go ahead and grab the next thing that we need, which is the LibGDX project setup, version 3. This is courtesy of this guy. Uh, I'm, I can't pronounce his name. I know I'm going to butcher it, so I'm just going <laughs> to say that this is his uh, uh, project setup UI, and it's very, very helpful in creating LibGDX projects. Uh, so go ahead and download that. Where's the download link? Somewhere down here. Right here. Give me links. There it is. Just download that. And you will get uh, this thing called the GDX Setup UI jar. So go ahead and open that. This is going to help us create our libgdx projects with all the dependencies involved. This is deprecated by the way. LibGDX has officially deprecated this and started using a Gradle setup, but I just find this way, way more simple. Uh, let me shrink it down here to fit the screen. So go to the Create uh, tab here. Go ahead and name your projects. Um, let's call it the uh, Block Bunny. Whatever. Game class, let's call it BB, I don't really care, and destination, doesn't really matter. The same destination, uh, I've made it wherever, destination, just make sure you know where your 
doing uh, where you're going to output the projects. Uh, over here it's going to generate the core project automatically as well as the Android project. Desktop project, you can have that. I don't need the HTML project. So you should have these three, the core, Android, and desktop. You also need one of the libgdx uh, builds. It looks in the same directory, I think, that it's in and looks for this, libgdx-nightly-latest. If you don't have that zip, then this is going to be red and you can go ahead and download the latest nightly version. Just click on that until it downloads it and then you get this and then this uh, turns green and it's all good. So once you have all that, you go to the fourth screen over here, generation, open the generation screen and uh, it's gonna generate these three projects for us. Just press launch and it should be quick. There it is, that's it. Uh, so go ahead and exit that and here it is here's our three projects that it created for us so go ahead into your workspace and just pop those three on here there we go so here's the three that were generated let's go ahead and import that into our Eclipse here import existing in this workspace those three alright so now uh, over here we have the we have problems. Um, first of all, since this is deprecated, the UI and it's it's gonna have some stuff like uh, libgdx al already got rid of the OpenGL1 support, so you're gonna have to get rid of all the OpenGL1 stuff. Like here, where I do clear, this should be. Wait, I don't need it. I didn't. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't need to worry about any of this crap actually. So just get rid of that. Um, and over here on actually uh, over here the block money game oh by the way if if you don't have the block money game this is the game that I'm gonna use as an example so go ahead and grab that it's I'm gonna have a link to it in the description so here's the block money game so just grab all of the classes from here just copy and paste it into the core project of the generated uh, one over here. Just pop all those in there, and the res folder. Just copy that as well, and go into the Android project and paste it into the assets folder. So now assets dot res, and then you have all your resources in here. Get rid of data. We don't need that. Um, so you have assets uh, res in the Android project. So go back up into Block Bunny. We have to fix a couple things. Play. Um, let's see, what do I need to do here? Right. Uh, these are just a couple of errors that you might get. Um, they're not really necessary. Uh, sometimes Eclipse has problems with casting objects to integers. So you can use this instead to force uh, the object to cast to an integer. Okay, that fixes those problems. Um, main, I don't need the desktop starter here, get rid of that. And game over here. Again, there's no more set and force power of two images since libgdx got rid of all OpenGL1. Let's get rid of that. Um, okay. So now we still have problems with the Android project here. Uh, let's see. First off, get rid of this use GL2 crap. Again, there's no more GL1, so that doesn't really matter. Next, uh, right click it and then properties. Go to Android. Make sure that you have this uh, Android 4.4.2 selected. And OK that. Hopefully, okay, this is a problem over here. This doesn't exist. This class doesn't exist. We have to use the um, this game class. So just use, change that to game, and then import. Make sure you're importing the correct class. What's going on here? Okay, import block bunny main game, or whatever package you're using. 
And uh, yeah, that should be it for Android. That's fixed. And the last thing we need to fix is in desktop over here. And that's because we're using the wrong class and this GL20 crap. So over here, new game, import, import our game. That should be it. Um, let's test it. Let's actually run the desktop project. See what happens here. Okay, so that works. And now uh, we have to. Uh, all we have to do to put the Android game onto your phone is run the Android project. So over here, Android run as just Android application. So let's go ahead and do that. Where is it? Run Android application. And if you don't have your Android plugged in right now, um, it's going to ask you what what you want to use to try to run it. Um, I don't have my Android plugged in right now, so it should prompt me. No compatible targets were found. Do you wish to add a new virtual device? No. I don't want any virtual devices because those are crap. So let me just plug in my Android here. Right now, um, it doesn't see any running Androids. So I just plugged mine in. Hopefully you don't have any problems when plugging in your Android phones. I actually had to go through a bunch of hurdles just to get this thing running because of some weird driver issue. That's my Android over there, Rectangle Junior. And here it is. Samsung State Online. If it's offline then uh, the thing that I did to fix it was I just restarted my phone. So that's pretty much it. Um, that's it. Just press OK. And it's going to try to run it on your phone. So open up your phone. And uh, it should launch on your... Yeah, there it is. Okay, so it's running on my phone right now. I'll just go back. And um, let's see. It should be called My Lib GDX Game in your apps page. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the icon for your game and we're going to change the title of the game. So go into your Android project over here and over here the Android manifest. We're going to double click that and it should open up in the uh, Eclipse Android manifest editor. Um, so over here, down here, just go into the Android manifest.xml uh, wait, no, what am I doing? We're not changing the title here. My bad, just <laughs> just close that. Uh, if you want to change the title, you go into res, values, and then strings.xml. So over here, you can either change it from the XML editor or just change it manually in the actual XML file. This is simpler. Just change this to whatever you want. Call it Block Bunny. Um, there we go. So now if you try to run it again, run as Android application it should change it should reinstall and the name should be changed to block bunny um, there it goes and yeah now it's called block bunny now the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to change the icon now the icons are in these folders in the res folder called drawable dash and then whatever, whatever uh, pixel density you're using. Um, you can have a drawable for every type of pixel density. This is low def, medium def, high def. There's also extra high def, extra extra high def, or um, even extras. I don't even know what all of them are, but uh, if you want to keep things simple, just get rid of everything except for one of them. I just use the medium density. Um, and I have the I have here my own icon. This is just the bunny. <laughs> so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the drawable dash MDPI IC launcher with that bunny. There we go. And um, once more, I'm just gonna run it as an Android application, and it should run on your phone and install itself. And there we go. 
Okay, so now I have on my phone Black Bunny, and it's uh, the title has been changed and the icon's been changed. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you put your LibGDX games onto Android. Um, so let me just go over it one more time, real quickly. You need the ADT plugin as, lo as well as the Android SDK. Um, or if you're lazy like me, just grab the ADT bundle and that gives you everything you need. You're also going to need, uh, over here, project setup, version 3. I'm going to have links to these in the description. And just grab it. This, again, I think is the simplest way to set up your LibGDX projects. I don't really care for the Gradle because that, that's just too, I don't know, it's too convoluted for me. Um, and once you got that down, it'll generate these projects for you. And that's pretty much it. If you have any problems, make sure again to uh, double check the properties of your Android. Make sure this is checked off on the Android tab. And on your Eclipse, again, make sure you have Android 4.4.2 pointed to the Android SDK that you downloaded in the ADT bundle. And in the SDK manager, make sure you have at least one SDK, the latest one preferably, like mine. API 19, the latest one, I have that installed. So, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much going to be it. So, um, again, if you have any problems, you can post them as a comment of this video, and if I know what the problem is, then I'll answer. Otherwise, um, you're better off just using Google to find uh, solutions to your specific problems. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching.